Okay guys, this is Math 172, um, Unit 3, Extra Problems, and this is Problem 2. So the thing is, there's this ship, and it leaves at 8 a.m. at a bearing of north 53 degrees west. So you go north, and then you go 53 degrees. So this is our original bearing at 20 miles an hour. Okay, cool. And again, that's 53 degrees. Then it makes an immediate shift, and in the second leg of the journey, we draw another compass rose. So start it south, and then we go 67 degrees. And this is our second leg of the journey, and it goes at 14 miles an hour. Okay, fair enough. And the question is, what is the distance from the ship to the port? Okay, so um, we're gonna call this segment A, and that is segment B. Okay, so in segment A, we're going 20 miles per hour for four hours. So that gives us a displacement of 80 miles at an angle if this is 53 degrees. Okay, so then AX is going to be um, 80 times the sine of 53, but because we're going to the left, we're going west, this is going to be a negative. And AY is we're going north, so it's positive. So this is going to be 80 times the cosine of 53 degrees. Now you might be scratching your head, wait, wait, I thought x was always cosine. Well, that's if you're using this angle, right? The angle between your vector and the x-axis. Since we're using this angle, these switch. So guys, always just draw your triangle and don't rely on the formula being x is always cosine. No, 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 no. Um, x is always the left or right bit, and you can figure that out using sine or cosine. All right, so that's the first leg of the journey is 80 miles. The second leg of the journey, we're going 14 miles per hour from noon to five. Five hours. 14 miles per hour times five hours gives us 70 miles. So that's the magnitude of this displacement. So BX then is going to be 70 times the sine of 67 degrees. But again, we're going to the left, so this will be negative. And BY is um, going south, so this is also going to be negative. 70 cosine. 67 degrees. Okay, so let's do a little math. So, and then AY, 8.1, and then BX, 64.5. So the question was, how far are they from the origin? So from here to there. The question is, find the magnitude of A plus B. So that's just the magnitude of AX plus BX comma <laughs> AY plus BY. So this is negative 63.9 minus 64.4 and 48.1 minus 27.4. So we're finding the vector negative, negative 128.3. And that makes sense because they're both moving left. So this should be bigger than either of them. 
and then And this should be positive because this guy's going a little faster than this guy's going south. Okay, but to find the magnitude, we're just going to take um, this resultant. To find the magnitude of the resultant, it's the square root of rx squared plus ry squared. So that's the square root of 128.3 squared plus 20.7 squared. So this is 129.96 miles. It's about 130 miles. Okay, so uh, guys, when you're given these velocities, make sure you draw a really good chart. You start at north, then go west, and you start at south, and then go west. To get a distance, it's just velocity times time. Then we take components, and we add component-wise, and then to find the magnitude, take the square root of the sum of the component squared. So this has been problem two.